my beautiful friends. If you don't know me, I'm Janet. Welcome to my channel where I hope to inspire you to create a home and a life you love. Well, I'm in the car and I am ready to go shopping. I thought I'd take you along. I probably have a few days of shopping to do. I'm going to hit up the Skylight Foundation secondhand sale. They raise funds for mental health so people who can't afford it can get the mental health services like therapy that they need. I am also going to be going to a couple thrift stores and I have to hit up Ikea. So I don't think I'm going to do that all in one day, but let's see what I can get accomplished. And I'm going to take you along for the ride with me, see what I can find. All right, let's go shopping. Moving right along. Do, 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 do. What was that Muppet movie song? Moving right along, we found a life on the highway. And your way is my way. So trust my navigation. I always liked Kermit, and I do own a Studebaker. All right, I gotta find that song. Moving right along, this is no highway or byway. It's something or my way. Moving right along. Okay, it's time to turn on the radio. <laughs> Sometimes I come to Goodwill just to get the positive affirmations they have lurking around. Okay guys, this is really making me think of Dylan Mulvaney. And I think this throw would be like really cute even in a fall tablescape. And these things sell for between 20 and 100 on eBay. It's vintage, but it looks like it's been washed. So I don't know if that devalues it. It still looks cool this way almost even better it's really nice thick wool um, let me know if you know because I don't really know anything about these crocheted throws or any crocheted items for that matter okay I just found this and I think it's really cute it's a linen leopard print totally clean new appears new pillow but there's no zipper which means you cannot change the insert to feather and you probably cannot wash it um, so this would be either a sell or use for staging and get rid of it. And I don't know yet how I'm staging this house, so I am not sure if I should get this. Should I spend four bucks on this? Let me know below. Also, I'm debating about this, which I thought could be cool for staging because this is a 70s house and I thought this could be kind of cool as a throw on the couch, but I don't know my color palette completely yet inside. So again, it could be a waste of money if I can't sell it afterwards. This is very funky and I'm trying to do some funky design at this house, but that look doesn't really go with this look, so I'm debating. Looks like Brent's bar went out of business with these rules. Go Cubs. I just found this brand new coat, which I think would be really cute. Um, her oldest daughter and I found these these are Siwas and they are probably about 30 bucks on Poshmark and kids don't wear shoes very long because their feet grow so fast they're barely in them a year so they're really in perfect condition none of the sequins are even missing I also found these which are a really good brand there's a little bit of wear but they could be polished but these are really good supportive shoes with real animal hide there. Genuine leather. It's a really nice thick leather. So these could be polished. These would be really nice. I'm not sure if they're her style, but I'd wear those. But she likes this. So if you have kids, nieces and nephews, or grandkids, don't forget to look at the kids' clothing section. Shoes are expensive for kids, so when you can get a pair like this, worth 30 used, they're vintage. Not really vintage. I think they're from 2019 for seven bucks. Go for it. I spy something in the lamp section that's not a lamp. Look at this. This is a Royal Dalton porcelain tea caddy. Look at how shiny it used to be. These can be worth anywhere from 100 to 300. I think they have another piece that it sits on. But isn't that pretty? See, somebody picked it up. 
didn't know the value, stuck it in the lamp section. Unless one of the employees put it out here thinking it was some kind of lamp base, but that is a find. And I almost left the store a while ago until I derailed and started looking at children's clothing. So that is coming home with me. Bingo. Okay, I've been wanting to make a sign that says gone to the beach to hang on my back door. So when people come over, if they're gonna join me at the beach, they'll know I'm already there. It's cuter than a post-it note. So although this sign is accurate, <laughs> I think I'm gonna paint over it, and make it say gone to the beach. Maybe on the other side, it can say welcome if I wanna leave it on the door. But I like that like the piece of wood is already cut. The holes are already made. The wire is already in there. All I have to do is paint it. What do you think? Look what I found at Goodwill. Steve Madden Leopard or Cheetah, I'm not sure what that is. Look brand new on the inside, probably worn once. A little bit of scuffing, which will come right out with the magic eraser. And I actually like getting shoes that have been worn and broken in for me, so I don't have to break them in. But Vans are part of my signature style, because <laughs> I go from flip-flops to vans, to boots. Those are the only three shoes I wear because I need to have shoes that are good on my feet. Can't really wear heels unless it's a special event. So my signature style is vans, jeans, and v-neck sweaters. <laughs> it's my uniform. I have to think about what I'm putting on. But aren't these cute? All right, I usually don't look for clothes when I'm thrifting. I just walk through the clothing aisles on the way to the home goods, but this is why you should, if you have the time and the patience to look thrifting. Here's a Ralph Lauren, brand new, originally $69 from Macy's for 10 bucks. And isn't that cute? I think it's too small for me, but just trying to make a point here. Okay, I found this mirror and I think if we paint it gold, it could be really cute in the bathroom. I just don't know if it's too small. It's really small, but that bathroom is small and the sink is small. I don't want to pass it up. Also, this watercolor is kind of cute, but the matting and the frame is all wrong. It's even cutting off the top of the painting, but should I get this little watercolor by Judy Katz, whoever she is? It could be really cute frame differently. Right, I spotted this is a really interesting weird bottle vase thing. No idea. $2.99. I think this would be cute staging with my other black face. I don't know. I like it. It's coming home. It's an interesting picture. It's kind of cute. And I like this. Funky. It's got like holes for four separate flowers. Any kind of contemporary arrangement. I spy a cute little piece of handmade pottery. Made in 2000 by Laura Voigt. I don't know why people just don't find value in these things if they end up here. So look how cute that is. That looks so nice with the little floral in it. $1.99. Corkscrew. My little corkscrew. Yay! Hello! How's my corkscrew? The only one who's ever happy to see me. I bought myself Valentine candy and I'm having it early. This is my dinner after a long day of shopping. Cheers, my beautiful friends. Don't mind the dirty dishes. Cheers. I'm heading into the Skylight Foundation's new space, which I have not been here before. I'm very excited to see it. So come along with me and let's see what kind of treasures we can find in here today. So excited.
I'm already liking the floor. No, here's the thing. You know what? I can't do it here, but I can do it at home. No, then just so stop it. it. No, 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 no. Okay. It's a really cute Easter decor item. Um, this was around the. Yeah. Yeah. Like this candle in the retro. These are always cute for staging. see anything you like and I should pop it in my eBay store or you want to buy it let me know because I can come back and pick it up for you these are super cute this would be great in an Airbnb coffee sugar and the tea That's cute. I collect perfume bottles. Look at that one. That's a really nice one. I love vintage blenders and mixers. They work better than the new ones. I have both. Both of mine are vintage. Ooh, this is a cute craft. I like that lid.
I think I eyeballed this last time, but it's over my budget at 60. treasures in there and maybe I'll show them to you in my next thrift haul video. <laughs> uh, nothing elaborate, just a couple things for myself and uh, I think something I'm going to sell on eBay actually. So stay tuned. We are at Ikea to see what they have for my current renovation project because I've done very little for staging. This is a cute little setup for an outside area. For staging, instead of having an ugly black grill, I could do something like this and put plant pots and flowers. Or they have this one. I wonder if it comes in black because that would be cute outside with the patio set and then stage it with gardening stuff. I'm really liking both of these for outside for staging and then the next use would be next to my grill. I've been looking for something that can go there to put like a bar cart area on the top and other like cooking supplies or party supplies. They each have pros and cons. I like this one because you can display things and make it really cute. And if you have a party, you can put the bar cart on the top and maybe dishes that people can grab and go on the bottom. So it's got that use, but this one, you could, when it rains, stick all, you know, I have things in, on my patio that every time they get wet, I gotta bring them in so I could stick them in there if it's gonna rain so it serves as waterproof storage and it hides away anything that's not attractive that you're storing. So both have different uses, pros and cons. Unless I find something better in the rest of the store, which one will I get? Open shelves, closed door. This one also has a lock. So you could lock your liquor up in there. You don't want anyone snatching it at night while you're asleep. All right, let me know what you think. A or B? Oh, I forgot. One other thing I like about this, I could paint this to match my exterior house color, but then I was thinking you could put, is it an IOD transfer? You could put a transfer here to French it up or a stencil or some kind of design. You could even hand paint something if you're that talented but that would make this a little more decorative and cute. What do you think? Well, the curtains that I got for staging, yeah, I got it in a state sale and they are a black and white. It's not quite a toile, it's more like roses, but it's black and white. So it kind of reminds me of this. And I have some black and white Ikea pillows that I found thrifting for that same bedroom. So this could be at this bed or something similar could work in that room. Let's see what else we find. All right, I am really liking these hotel style towel racks. And if there's no medicine cabinet, I really like this little mini glass shelf. Super cute. There's a medicine cabinet idea. It's very tall and big, might be too big, but I like the storage shelf here and the fact that you can mount it on the wall and have a medicine cabinet as opposed to it being recessed in the wall. All right, we got sidetracked. Now we're going up to the tippy top and working our way down. This could be my last resort couch. I really don't want to go gray because I'd like to reuse the couch at a future Airbnb cottage. So this wouldn't be the right style or color, but since the house is a mid-century, I think that this piece would work and it works with my color palette. I would just need lighter, brighter pillows to brighten up the look. The ottoman is cute. I think the chair is a bit bulky. So when I was feeling very discouraged by the IKEA options today, I found this. This, but in this size, would definitely work at a cottage. I'm 
just not sure if it's necessarily the look I want for the project. I definitely like the mid-century option better for the project, but I think this would really work for the cottage. Different pillows, of course. What do you guys think? Mid-century or this size, but that fabric for the project and make it work. Here's why I'm liking this for Airbnb. It's $679, so you can't beat the price. The slip cover is $129. The slip cover fully is, comes off and is removable, as are each of the pillowcases and each of the seat cushions. If an Airbnb guest ruins this, it's $129 to buy a new slip cover, which they, in essence, would pay for. Also, if some one individual component gets stained, it can be removed and washed. This, I am liking the vibe for the mid-century house, and I like these pillows, the striped pillows, which all the colors except the olive green were in my color palette possibility, but adding in the mid-century green, I kind of like this, but it would be in a white, on white space. Harder to resell this couch, but I'm kind of liking this and it would be like different than what I usually do and more in that mid-century vibe I was trying to go for. I'm really confusing myself. What do you guys think? The white couch I can use later in the cottage, the gray mid-century couch, or this to do something funkalicious? Let me know in the comments below. All right, I'm not in love with this entire setup, so don't think I've gone pink crazy, but just look at this shade of pink. That's the current front door, which I've been contemplating painting black, but maybe I'm ahead of my time. And this color pink is coming in now. This could look cute in the bedroom with the black and white curtains and pillows. Here is a cute cottage mirror. I would paint it gold or even white not this color it comes in, which is sort of like some bizarre off gold color, but big mirrors are expensive and this is only 200 bucks. I haven't even finished the first level. I already have sensory overload from the fluorescent lights and I think I need meatballs. <laughs> Help. Okay, I also want to look at shelves. They have these more classic modern shelves or you can get one with this detail on the edge. The brackets, I, the only ones I like are either these or this one, which I think I want to go more modern. I just don't know if I want to do the chubby um, open shelves. I feel like they're really popular right now, but I just feel like they're a trend and that kitchen is going to look outdated soon with those big fat floating shelves, even though everyone's still doing them. If you're going to invest in a kitchen, I want it to last, not feel outdated in five years. What do you guys think? I like this table, but I prefer it in white. When you go to Ikea without makeup on and you want to scare yourself. Ah! This could be cute if these would stay like that. To stage a cute little makeup table in the master bedroom. But these little wings don't want to stay. I want it to stay tipped like this. And it won't. Wouldn't that be cute to have a little makeup table set up? Okay, if I keep the front door pink and I carry the pink into the house and I get that little cart downstairs, a little plant, a little candle for the outdoor staging area. What do you think? I also have that pot in black. I think that looks so cute, like it's just quick winging it. Okay, oops, that plant's wrong size, but just pretend. A little plant, a little candle. That'd be cute on that little bar cart for the outside. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna get this. I can always return it. But I think I, I, I don't know why I'm fixated on pink. All right. I also like it with three. So if I get real roses and real lavender and do this with a little candle, that could be cute too. Okay, friends, I am going to keep these in mind because 
I bring that pink in. These would be really cute on the open shelves in the kitchen. I bring the pink or the green. They have both colors. But I'm thinking pink and white would be cute on the open shelves with some black. I'm not getting them today. I can always come back, but they are here for the waiting. This may work at this particular house. Putting this under the open shelves because that gives you space to put pots and pans on S hooks. And I was thinking of doing something in copper, but I actually like the chrome if I do go with those modern fat shelves. I would only do one under the bottom shelf, but I think that could be a really cute focal point. Here it is with the pots and pans. But that way I could put really nice pots and pans, but I like that. It's not horrible. A little bit of a decorative element. That may work. These also come in black. Either could work in that kitchen. This would be really cute at a cottage with all the beach gear, maybe put an umbrella for the guest, beach towels, maybe some baskets on the bottom with beach toys or the beach towels, sunblock could go in a basket. Be really cute at a back door when you're heading out to the beach. Be really cute and it probably comes in white. I love black and white checkered floors. That's what I originally wanted to do in that kitchen. I may still, it's gonna be either that or wood. What do you guys think? Does it end up being too sterile if you have white cabinets? Not doing black counters. I'm gonna probably do white on white. Could do black accessories and then have this floor. Or I may just wait for a cottage or my basement. Okay, this is really cute, a cookbook stand. I should probably have one at my house. $13. It's going to add a little warmth to the room and then I can put like a really colorful, beautiful, open cookbook page. Great for staging. I'm going to take one of these. This could have two uses. I can use this in the project to stage an office and then I can use this in my eBay room to list things after I do the photos. Hmm. This is cute as a bar cart. It's really a plant stand, but this would be cute since the bedrooms are so small as a little nightstand and only 25 bucks. Now the part I hate, finding the boxes of the stuff you need to buy when you're really, really tired at the end of the day. <laughs> oh my gosh, Calgon, take me away. I'm in the as is section and I've officially decided I am not ready for grandkids because if I hear one more baby screaming, I'm officially gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I have to be retired before that happens, I think. Anyway, I'm tired. We're in the as is section. Other than this couch, which was a possibility, nothing else here. Now I have to motivate myself to get up off the couch and check out. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is why I like my niece's kids. They're not babies anymore. They don't scream and cry like that. They're fun. This, no, I'm about to shoot myself from all the babies in here. We made it to the car. Now I have to load. Actually, it's a truck. It's a rental. That's why I'm at Ikea today, because I have this truck. I gotta go load the stuff and drive home. All right, ciao for now. Whoa, if that blew your mind, then stick around, because we got lots more where that came from. Just click here to subscribe.